What, what was your new nickname that we came up with? Corruptible cat. Corruptible I don't cat. like that. <laughs> like, don't put Cushetti that on there. Shaggy cat. Don't, <laughs> don't put that on there. Camping cat. Catastrophe cat. Cruising cat. Carolina cat. Careful cat. I do like kangaroo. candy. Kangaroo. Kangaroo cat. Kangaroo cat. <laughs> I do really like That's kangaroo That's not that bad. Cat. Hey, brother, and welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking on the world's hardest sorting hat quiz. And we're going to be hosted by <laughs> the one, the only, kangaroo, kangaroo cat. Hi, guys. We just came up with it. We love it. <laughs> we'll be a trap. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the chair. Oh, we, we got this. Straight face. <laughs> Try not to care. Not serious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. <laughs> so you, you're oh thinking God. about it. You're like, I can hear you prepping in your mind. You're laughing about your group, guy. It's not that funny. <laughs> Oh, the back of my head is already hurting from laughing. Yeah, we're in a good, you know what? This is a good space to be in to record a video. <laughs> it is. This is good. This is good. I think we the should use flowing. it. I think we should use it. In case you guys are new to the J versus Ben format, this is how it is going to work. Kangaroo Cat is on the other end of the camera and is going to be reading us today's 10 primary quiz questions, plus an additional five questions from our quiz masters over on Patreon. Ben and I will have to answer all of the questions from memory, but if we cannot remember them, Kangaroo Cat can give us the multiple choice. I got through it. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. So we did, we did it. it. You did so good. If you would like to play along with us and see how much smarter you are than we are, there is a link to the quiz in the description down below. Let's do it. Question number first. Which old Hogwarts relic did Harry pull out of the sorting hat? Oh, well, wow. <clears throat> wow. Okay. In the original version. Not in the what if he was in the Slytherin <laughs> yes. version. Yeah, in the original books. You know what? We've written. been working on that series, and I am worried right. when it comes to Jay versus Ben's that our new canon that we've created is going yeah. to conflict with the existing canon. <laughs> right. Do you? Yeah. Oh my gosh! I just. Do you think this is an intentional play on words that it's the Sorting Hat? Uh, like sword, right there in the title. Sword. The sorting Hat. It distributes swords. Man, I'm I assuming y'all got the answer right. The answer? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I honestly thought the question was, what founder sword? <laughs> the, the S word of Gryffindor. <laughs> I'll take S words for 15. Yes, that is correct. Good job. All righty. Question number two. What is a hat stall? Oh. Um, like, the specifics as to like what qualifies a hat stall? Yeah. There's like a, like, hmm, okay. Um, I, I feel like I know what you're trying to ask and I think the answer is yes. <clears throat> like we need to know the unit? Yes, Okay. there you go. I'm pretty sure this is it. <clears throat> Feels like it would be a really notable thing that you would like mention in the first year when Harry's getting sorted. Is it ever mentioned in the books or is it just uh, on Pottermore? Just a Pottermore. I think it's just on Pottermore. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you ready? Three, Whatever two, one. It. When it takes longer than five minutes to sort a student. Yes. Yep, yep. When uh, <laughs> when the hat can't choose a student's house for five for over five minutes. That's to sort a student, not sort a sort student. Sort a, sort, sort a, <laughs> student. Sort a student. You don't want to sort a student. Could you imagine <clears throat> if, it, if it delivered that sword, sword side down? It was <laughs> yeah. like, don't worry, friend, I yeah. can help. Yeah. Oh. You know I've what? sorted you. In retrospect, it seems very irresponsible of Godric to have hidden the sword in the hat, which is supposed to like deliver the sword to a true Gryffindor, when the point of the hat is to determine what house students belong in. Yeah, Gryffindor was just a little fast and loose. He's like, he's, <laughs> he's like, guys, guys, you know what we should do? What we should do is should have a hat that decides where the students go, and you know whose hat it should be mine. Mine. <laughs> also, just throwing it out there and in the hat. Maybe I'll put a sword in it. <laughs> just, you know what? It's done. There is a good, where are we gonna keep it? The headmaster's office? That's yeah. mine. That's my office too. My dibs. It was my office. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to see what Slytherin left. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, Gryffindor is just like, you know what, headmaster's office? You know what we should have for the door? 
A griffin. A griffin. It'll be a white for a griffin door. Ah! It had nothing to do with any of the blood purity stuff. It was just Godric getting a little too high on his horse. It just, no, it was just too good. It was too good of wordplay. Yeah. So everybody else was like, like Ravenclaw or Hufflepuff were like, Sal, I'm sorry, man, but we can't argue with the guy. Right. That's pretty good. Yeah. A griffin door. door. It's his name. And now it's time for the first Quizmaster question of the game. This question was submitted seven times wow. in some variation or another by Kelsey, Belodi, Lorenza, Emily Stock, Paul Rankin, OG Legend, and of course, Roswell Sullivan Frothchild II, AKA Frothy Two. Okay, wow. Okay. <laughs> seven people submitted this question. Hopefully we know the answer. Yeah, Hopefully. I feel like this just should have been in the actual quiz itself. Like that, this was on of, the quiz writers. It's, it's sort of spectacular. Okay, we'll sort bring of. it. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, the question is, in which years or books did Harry see the sorting ceremony? Some of them asked how many sorting ceremonies did he go to? Some asked which did he not see? Some asked this very question. It's a good question. You know what I've always thought the real answer to this question is, is that she didn't want to write a new song every year. <laughs> I know, I that's know. That's probably I it, yeah. The board too. It's like, ah, oh, that's hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, about him? how about Harry misses it? It's also like you have to like introduce just like a ton of new characters each time, yeah. conceivably. <laughs> right, yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, this kid got put in Ravenclaw. All right. Got it. So this is, which ones did he see? Which ones did he see? Yes. And he, his year counts, right? Yes. He sees yeah, his. He saw okay. his year. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Yeah, three. One, four, and five. It is one, four, and five. Oh. It was not three. Yeah. Why is it not in three? I couldn't remember. Yeah. Um, Prisoner. That's, I was honestly trying to think of that too when I was writing this question. Because Harry passes out from the. No, that's not. Yeah, but he already he woke comes up. comes on the train. I know this is so I was like, I feel like I remembered in Goblet it saying like he hadn't seen it for the past two years. Yeah. But then I was like, but why why would he have missed it? Really, it's because someone didn't want to write a song. Okay. <laughs> well, I, it makes me feel better that it's not immediately obvious, but I, it was the one that I was the most torn on. And then I was afraid if I didn't include it, then I was going to feel silly because I didn't have an explanation for it. So classic me, this is pretty much how all test taking for my entire life has gone. Coin flip, wrong answer. <laughs> Coin flip, wrong. Heads I lose, tails you win. Exactly. Question number four, going back to hat stalls. This is a select all that apply. Which of the following witches and wizards were hat stalls? A, Remus Lupin. B, Peter Pettigrew. C, Albus Dumbledore. D, Minerva McGonagall. Or E, Lavender Brown. Live, laugh, laugh, laugh. Live, laugh, laugh, laugh. Live, laugh, laugh, laugh. We've got to get that on a sticker. I know, that's right. got to be something. That's gotta gotta get it. Something. We got to get it like cross-stitched on a pillow. You got to put it on a golden heart medallion. Golden heart medallion, right? yes. Right, locket sort of thing. Yeah. Laugh, laugh. laugh Live, laugh. laugh, laugh, laugh. Live, laugh, laugh, laugh. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Uh, Peter and Minerva. Peter and Minerva. That is indeed correct. Kaboom. Kaboom. Easy. Question number five. Which Hogwarts house founder was wearing the hat before it was enchanted to become the sorting hat? Y'all maybe already said this. <laughs> if, hmm. Mm, got it. Mm. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> <coughs> I got it. Oh, yeah. there you go. Yeah, uh, yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. God, Rick. G. Well got a G. Got big, big G. Big G. Hey, that yes, that is correct. Sorry. You think, you think <laughs> Slytherin called him Big G? <laughs> watch up the, watch up to there, Big G. How you doing, Big G? <laughs> and now it's time for the second quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Wesley Walker. What did Neville do when getting sorted that caused everyone to laugh? Oh. <laughs> did y'all get that at huh. the same time? I think this is right. It sounds right. Okay, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Lose his toad. Oh, I said walk off wearing the hat. He oh. ran off wearing the hat, yeah. Oh. <coughs> losing right. the toad was um, a, one of the multiple choice answers, though. He's always losing the toad. <laughs> Trevor! Trevor! When you see the size of the toad, it's kind of embarrassing. One, that he lost it, and two, that no one's found it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty big toad. <laughs> Maybe, like, what is Trevor's secret power, right? 
It's gotta be like that's a maybe he that's can a become video. invisible. What if maybe Trevor is just an Animagus? Yeah. Like, oh, a, yeah. oh boy. that common that dorm room was full of people. I know, yeah, it's like <laughs> stuff was happening. Yeah. However, though, who would I he mean, have been an Animagus of? Well, I mean, Neville is the other candidate for being a chosen one. Yeah. So it's sure. like you know, if if there was ever another character to be like kind of keeping a, a close watch on. Yeah. Making sure he was always losing stuff. I like the idea that he has a speak a special power. Yeah, or yeah. Who else would it be? Who could Neville's toad be? I mean, this could be hard to say. Somewhere back in history. Is it a death eater? You know who it could be? I was about to say. You know who it could be? Umbridge. Umbridge. Oh! <laughs> She's just <laughs> That's spying perfect. on the Gryffindors from the beginning. She oh, always, She's always described yeah. as looking like a toad. That's like true. Toad. Question seven. What was unique about the Sorting Hat song in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix? Um, this is kind of like a general theme of it, not like a specific thing that it says. Okay. I think this is, I mean, I think this is true. I don't know if it's what the question's asking for. Yeah. Three, two, one. It said it gives a warning and tells everyone to unite. Gives advice to be united. Um, it's, it, it warns that Hogwarts is in danger. Gives a warning. Yeah. I don't know. Um, what are the other questions that started? That is probably the closest to any of the answers that are on here. Point J? I'll give it to both y'all. Uh, all right, all right. You say so, kangaroo cat. Yeah. One of the answers on this was just that it refused to sing at all. Hey. It refused to <laughs> sing at all. Nope. No. That no. Not going to do it. <laughs> that would have been another way. That's what we should have done year three. Yeah. He right, just gets yeah. out there and he's like, I'm not feeling this. I'm not y'all. I got a little bit of a frog in my throat. As it were, a toad. A toad in my throat. A little bit of a toad <laughs> in my throat. <mother. laughs> Anyone meanwhile, missing a toad? Does anybody see... The frog, the toad, the to I, I could, Trevor, the toad. The I, 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 I can pull the name we clean out of my head. Did anybody see Trevor after year three? Mm. Where'd he go? These are the questions that need to be answered. He's there invisible. You go. Speaking of missing toads, speaking oh. of. Oh, no. Now, yeah. All right, well, then is toad confirmed. We've lost them again. And welcome everybody to the scenic group where as ever, we need to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Which before I get too far into it, I just gotta say like, you ever be out on your scenic route rooftop patio when you just feel like someone's watching you? Me too. I literally have a friend who works in that building right over there and he's literally caught me doing this exact thing before. Bats. Wish there was an encryption service for the air. And while unfortunately there's not one for the air, there is one for the internet, which is good news because not everyone is quite as nice as my friend Brandon, you know, who works over in that building right there. And because we here at SCB rely so heavily on the internet, we have to have a way to stay protected. And we do that with ExpressVPN. Again, it is almost common knowledge at this point that big advertisers make a lot of money by collecting all of your information, whether it's your search history, clicks, or just otherwise movement on the internet. If your information is available, then all of that data can simply be sold to advertisers. That's why you always end up getting ads for things even when you don't feel like you've done anything that would have prompted them. But again, ExpressVPN can keep you completely anonymous by hiding your IP address from those trackers. Which is why I use it on all of my devices, whether it's my phone, computer, tablet, router, anything. And the best part is, is that once you're set up, it is so ridiculously easy to use. It is pressing one button and boom, you're safe. So seriously, guys, if you don't like big tech tracking your information and selling your data, then it is time to fight back now by heading on over to expressvpn.com slash J versus B for three months free. That is three months absolutely free when you go to expressvpn.com slash J versus B. One more time, expressvpn.com slash J versus B. Three months free. Link is in the description down below. All right, well, it looks like Ben is gone again, which means it's time for me to give you guys some hot tips about how to make sure you're always winning at trivia against your brother. And the answer is you got to train your brain, which brings me to today's sponsor, Brilliant. In case you don't know, Brilliant is the most intuitive and fun way to learn math, science, and computer science. Like I seriously just opened the app to start investigating like what I should say in this ad read and I got stuck doing algebra problems for like 30 minutes. It was like, oh wait, I should, oh, I was having fun doing math. In fact, it was so much fun. I decided to give you guys an example problem of the kind of like light math I was having to do with one of my favorite learning tools, cake. <laughs> Let me just grab my knife and do some prep work. Suppose you have two slices of cake 
and three plates. And you know that the total weight of all of this is 35 grams and that each slice of cake weighs 10 grams. How much does each plate weigh? I'll give you a second to think about it while I take a bite of cake. Ooh. The answer is of course five, and that's just really, really basic algebra, the kind of stuff you could review if you wanted to, but it can get a lot more complex. You could be learning about calculus derivatives if you wanted to. Mostly, I just wanted an excuse to buy a cake though. I don't know. Fact, bonus question, what will it weigh after I finish eating this slice of cake? Mm -hmm. But Brilliant is great because they're adding new content all of the time, and it's not just math, it's science, it's computer science. You can be learning how to code using this app. And look, I know some of that might sound complicated, but Brilliant doesn't just help you learn specific skills, it also just helps you be a better overall thinker so that you can feel more confident whenever you encounter whatever mathematical or scientific predicament you might find yourself in. Or more often than not, in my case, just making sure you can continue to beat your brother at trivia week in and week out, you know. It's college level content, but for everyone, so you don't have to spend four years and a fortune just to brush up on your learning. And learning a little every day can make a huge impact. Spending just 30 minutes a day on the app or heck, just taking a quick brilliant break uh, during the middle of J versus Ben can make a huge impact. Plus the first 200 people who sign up for a premium subscription over at brilliant.org slash J versus B get 20% off. That's the kind of math I like. One more time, that's 20% off for the first 200 people to sign up for a premium subscription over at brilliant.org slash J verse B. Link in the description down below. I was like 90% sure it wasn't gonna smell like cake this time. Well, I don't know how you pulled it off. You were wrong, I am brilliant like that. Question number eight. Hermione was sorted into Gryffindor, as you know, but the sorting hat did seriously consider her for Oh my goodness. Yeah, another one you already answered. answered. I know. <laughs> Whoops, there might be one more that you guys have already answered, actually. Three, I two, remember. one, Slytherin! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Slytherin. No, it's not correct. Boom! We did it. You did, did it. the thing. Now it's time for the third quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Dola, Flying Sleepy Mansion, and Wesley Walker. Who conducted the sorting ceremony in year three? that Harry sees carrying the hat out of the Great Hall. <laughs> conducted. It's a funny play on words if you're a movie fan. <laughs> Who conducted it in year three? Where you know what was relevant? Toads. Indeed. Unexpectedly and oddly. Mm -hmm. Strange choice. Yep, sort of, yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. I'm just gonna go with an answer. I'm going with an answer. Okay, I am just going to say that I think it's Got. What do you got, Ben? I'm just gonna go with my gut. Ready? Oh. Three, two, one. Severus Snape. It's Flitwick. Oh no! Oh, I literally thought you were saying Flitwick earlier because you were doing the conducting thing. I well, I was making a joke oh. about how because Flitwick. It, no, like, that's why I thought you knew the answer right off the bat because it was like, oh, it's a play on words because he's the conductor. It actually is a huge play on words <laughs> based on this particular question. Yeah. yeah. Whoops. Um, wow. That is, well, that is fun. That's a Ben pulling ahead, I think. Oh, that, oh wow. Yeah, you got the lead there. Wow. Yeah, that's a Ben Don't lead. tell me that. Don't tell sorry, me. Sorry, sorry. Never tell me the odds. Never tell me the odds. Who says that? Han. Han? Han. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. All righty, question number 10. How does the sorting hat decide how to sort students? We're looking for a particular kind of magic. What? Oh. Um, like, how does it know gotcha. what house to put them in? <laughs> like, based on all the things it sings in the song, right? <laughs> Personal qualities. Okay, yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Legitimacy. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's legitimacy. Oh no! I know that's what you meant, though. That is what I meant. Yeah. It is legitimacy, though. Oh no, okay. Never fact, tell me the odds! It's We're tied! It's back to a tie, sorry. One of the answers on this just kind of tickled me. Uh, it was nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. Nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. <laughs> just it honestly tripped me up a little bit because the legitimacy one was like the last answer the time that I took it. And so I was like, do we know? And then I read that one. I was like, no, it's that one. It's that one. Yeah. <laughs> this one is actually a true or false question. Oh. Your favorite. Here we go. When Tom Riddle wore the sorting hat, the hat sorted him into Slytherin the moment it touched his head. Okay. Yeah. 
Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. True. 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 Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it did. Now it's time for the fourth quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Caden Medwid. What does the sorting hat ask Harry when he puts it on in Dumbledore's office? What does the sorting hat ask Harry? Yeah. It's like Wait. the first thing that he says to Harry. Oh, okay. I think I've got it. Okay. okay. <clears throat> you ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one. Be in your bonnet, Harry Potter. Be in your bonnet, Potter. But yeah, I'll give it to you. Okay. Cool. Super. Yep. Be in your bonnet, Potter. That's a good, that was a good that question. Was. That's like a. That is a really good question. I think I literally was just thinking about this particular phrase. <laughs> really? Like the other day, yeah. Oh, I dang. was like, oh yeah, that's when he asked that. Yeah. Question 13. In Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, which oh, house no. does Lily Potter Jr. get sorted into? Mm-hmm. Do you put Junior on girls' names? Um, not really. Also, I'm technically I don't think, a junior, but yeah, I, don't have I guess my name. you wouldn't because rarely, because traditionally, the mom would have changed her name. Yeah. So the incoming daughter could not be a junior. Yeah. I guess the incoming daughter could be. That was like a silly practice. Junior. It does. Yeah. Hmm. Well, my middle name is what my mom's middle name used to be before it became before her maiden name became her middle name. Hmm. Interesting. And Wait. my first name's the same as hers. Okay, but you're not a junior. I mean, they don't call me junior, no. Ah. Would you like us to? Can no, you please junior? don't, please don't. JR? <laughs> I had some kids in college that kept calling me junior after they found that out and it was very annoying. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll, we'll, we'll keep, keep we'll it to the kangaroo cat. Kangaroo cat's <laughs> kangaroo already cat pretty is, good. I prefer kangaroo cat to cat junior. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Gryffindor! The Gryffindor is correct. Sure. I honestly yeah. forgot that you had an answer to the question. <laughs> <laughs> Better be Gryffindor. Oh, yeah, that is Korea. I don't like in the movies that everyone can apparently see the hat talking. Yeah, right. Because it's, it's supposed like to just be in their personal. head, right? It's supposed to just be in your head. How would you visually display that particular scene? Would you mm. like just have it go like dark and just sort of like have Iron like a Man, voice? like Iron Man in the suit? You know, like when you see Tony Stark's face. Oh, yeah. It does. It's also one of these things where it's like it feels like the hat is supposed to like come down like over their head. Yeah. Like it's so, supposed to like come down to their ears. Yeah. You like know why? Like, you know why? Because Gryffindor had such a big head. Hey! <laughs> it's always fun to dunk on Gryffindor. Oh, no. he's, he's a good, he's a good lad. <laughs> you know Gryffindor was such a bro. That was... <laughs> what do you need that sword for, man? We have wands. Sword! It's awesome. It's awesome, dude. Literally, like, well, yeah. That is my explanation as to why he has a sword. Yeah. Because it's cool. Because it's cool, right? Yeah. You know it. Yeah. It's like, I, I want this for muggle duels. I get in a lot of muggle duels and I gotta keep it fair, you know? <laughs> you just think it looks cool. I just think it's awesome. Look it's at it. It's got rubies. Question 14. In Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, what did Lord Voldemort do to the sorting hat? Woo! Got it. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Light it on fire! Light it on That's fire! That's exactly how I spelled it. Look, yeah, look, you look. did. You spelled it. Yeah. Light it on you fire! You actually did, yeah. Fire! <laughs> Subsequently destroying the Fidelius charm placed upon it. Ooh. I say. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. And as such, allowing all further students to be able to discuss how the sorting actually works, because why wouldn't Ron know going into his first year when he has five siblings? And Hermione, who's read Hogwarts A History. Hogwarts A History doesn't mention at all the sorting hat. The sword, sorting hat. The swording hat. hat. Swording. Maybe it's spelled that way in the book and she was like, the swording hat? I don't even know what that means. What's a sorting hat? Yeah. Yeah, probably. And now it's time for the fifth and final quiz master question of the game. This question was submitted by Sarah Makiyama, Carrie, Alita, and Abby. I apologize deeply if I pronounced your names incorrectly. In Harry's first year, the Sorting Hat mentions three other kinds of hats in its song. What are they? In which year? His first year. Three other kinds three of other hats? Three other kinds of hats? Like bonnets? <laughs> <laughs> yes, like bonnets. Um, oh, man. I will uh, give you a hint. Bonnet is not one of the answers. No, good, to know. Good, good to know. know. good to good know. Good to know. All right. Um, you haven't done uh, multiple choice. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get it. 
Yeah, I would go multiple choice. A, a fedora. B, a beret. C, a bowler hat. D, a pillbox hat. E, a top hat. F, Hamburg. G, a cap. Did I say G? H, (laughs) H, a pork pie. Boy, this is hard. The only one I'm sure, I've only got one that I'm like kind of sure about. There is one of them that was in all of the multiple choice questions. Oh, so really? it's probably that one. <sighs> okay. Well. Y'all are tied, by the way. Oh, man. This is the last question. <laughs> it's the last question, and you're tied. So, oh so is it gosh. just who gets the most right? Mm, no, you got to get the whole answer yeah, right. The whole right. So many of them just sound so absurd that it's the type <laughs> of thing that it's like, it's entirely possible that I just didn't even realize that this was another hat. Right. Like it just says like, blah, 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 blah. Right. It's like a fun rhyme. And I'm like, ha ha. Right. Like, <laughs> whatever that means. Right. <laughs> I'm not a silly Hamburg something. Right. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like that could, uh, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What does that even mean? I'm not, I, it never even occurred to me to use context clues. Right. All, All right. right. So yeah. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I said bowler, top hat, and cap. I said uh, beret, top hat, and cap. Oh boy. Jay got it right. Yes! <laughs> what? Oh, Amazing. No! We were so close to it. Oh, man. Okay, so uh, when, before you started, I wrote down top hat. Oh, okay, good. No, all you... my answers had bowler hat in it, actually. Really? Really, yeah. That was the one I was the least sure about. Yeah. Because I remember him saying, for I am a thinking cap. And I was like, ooh, thinking cap. So that's the cap. Yeah, yeah. Cap, cap and top hat both felt like they yeah. were generic enough. Yeah. yeah, and then bowler was like, I know Fudge constantly has his lime green bowler, so maybe bowler hats are like more of a wizarding world, more of a wizard thing. See, but that was the reason I wasn't thinking. I was right. like, oh, they're using like the Fudge thing. And I was like, beret feels like a very um, easily rhymed word. Mm. Yeah, Because it's got like true. the A at the yeah. end of it. Um, so. Do you have the do you have the the rhyme the quote? I can pull it up. Okay. It says you can keep your bowlers black, your top hat sleek and tall. For I'm this Hogwarts sorting hat, and I can cap them all. Well, I even got the reference to cap wrong. Got it right. <laughs> no, it does at the end. It does say for I'm a thinking cap. Oh, okay. I didn't get it wrong. <laughs> I just didn't remember there was another one. I can cap them all. Do you want me to oh, read the whole song? <laughs> no, we're good. We're Man. good. The point is. I oh, won. Sorry, Ben. Yes. <laughs> that was right a really good second. quiz, though. Right at the last second. Nice. Oh, uh, it uh, it does hurt. I'm not gonna lie. It, it hurts go. to be that close. So close. Like, right in it. And yet, you know what? I even got two thirds of the last question. You right. did. Yeah, you that's did. about that's so the nearest close. loss you've ever had. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. <clears throat> hey, how many questions? Did what, what was the score? Do you it know? was thirteen to twelve. 13, oh, wow, 9, so we did well. We, yeah, you did really yeah. well. This we is each. probably one of your best quizzes, actually. Man, well done us, especially <sighs> me, the winner. <laughs> and now we need to give a huge thank you to these quiz masters who support us over on Patreon. Yes, huge shout out to Kelsey, Bellady, Len Ezra, Emily Stock, Paul Rankin, OG Legend, Rosewell Sullivan, Frothchild II, Wesley Walker, Dola, Flying Sleepy Mansion, Caden Medwin, Sarah Mac- Makiyama, Kari Alita, and Abby. Thank you guys all so much for uh, submitting questions for today's quiz. If you want to be a quiz master and try and stump me and Ben, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlinbrothers and select the quiz master tier. Guys, as always, be sure to let us know how you did in the towel section down below. I feel like we were fairly competitive in this one. We were. That was a really, really close quiz uh, as far as our J versus Ben's typically go. Our concern, yeah. So, yeah. so let us know, did you beat us? Towel section down below. If you want some more sorting action from us, we are in the midst of what would have happened to Harry if he had, in fact, been sorted into Slytherin like the Sorting Hat wanted. We are seven parts of the way through an eight part series. The final episode is coming out later this week. Make sure you don't miss it. But if you don't know what we're talking about, check out this entire playlist right here. It has been super fun to work on. Yeah, super binge worthy. It's like, it's very long. Each episode is like 30 plus minutes. Yeah, prepare Um, thyself. Yeah, so just you grab some popcorn, Mm -hmm. go find yourself a good seat and enjoy. Yeah, otherwise, until next time, bye. bye.